In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I like to prepare my battery lawnmower for the brand new mowing season. Obviously, being not a petrol tool, it doesn't have the same issues and things that you need to address, but there are still a few things that you can do, not only aesthetically, but also mechanically to make sure your mower is working absolutely tip top for the new season. So the first thing I like to do is just assess if there's anything major wrong with the machine. As you can tell in this clip, there was a bit of a clanking noise coming from the gearbox. So that's something I'm going to look at later on in the video. The first thing I'm going to do is get the wheels off. These, as you can tell, have rusted up quite a bit. On these Egos, they've got bearings, so they need re-oiling and greasing. Very simple to do. It takes a 13 mil socket just to undo them. And I'll just clean those, make sure that they're working and get rid of any of the rust on them before re-oiling them. On the back of the machine, I'm going to take the wheel hub off and just give it a clean and tidy up, make sure there's nothing too major. Having looked at it, you can see that the white sprocket is a bit worn. This may be one of the reasons why it's making that noise and not quite picking up when I'm putting on the power properly. I've spoken to the dealer about this and they actually don't have spare parts for that particular bit you'd have to buy a whole new gearbox assembly which would cost like 200 quid it's a big problem with ego that they don't have those sort of spares that every other manufacturer has but apparently it's something they are working on at the moment now all the wheels are off i think it's a great opportunity to get in there and clean the mower i like to use a bike cleaner but washing up liquid something like that will work perfectly fine i give it a good spray and let it sit on there so that it sort of softens the ingrained dirt and mud that's built up over the year and it really does come off pretty well i use a muck off bike cleaner which all of the things that I use will be linked in the description. Of course, being a battery and sort of electric tool, you've got to be a little bit careful with it, um, not putting too much water on these sort of things. So just be gentle with it and work over it, trying to keep the water levels down and you'll be absolutely fine. As I say, with a bike clean, it comes up really nice. Now I've given these wheels a good clean up. I've and I'm just putting a bit of lithium grease in the bearings just to make sure that they run properly. These wheels on these Egos are really nice because they've actually got the bearings in them. Just pop the cap back on and um, just look at that. They spin really, really well. That's the front one's done. I'm going to do the same to the rear. To do the rear, it's a case of putting on the plastic shroud. You've got to be a bit careful because there's a little screw there quite um, obviously it's just thin plastic so you've got to be careful not to overdo it in this case i haven't done anything with a sprocket just because i can't really do too much just put a bit more grease and tidied up the wheel hub itself but i can't do too much more with that so i'm going to leave it at that and i just put a little bit of lithium grease again on that wheel bearing as well to tighten these up it's a 13 mil socket um, and just do them to pretty tight not that crazy tight but tight so they're not going to go anywhere and put the cap back on we've done the top off and we've got those wheels back on it's time to address the deck now this got really bad i used it late in the autumn and it got really met wet and muddy and horrible so it needs a really good clean with these egos it's really easy to get the blades off so just use the hole that's provided to port the blade and then using a 14 mil socket just take unscrew it and everything just slides off and as you can see this is what comes off when you take the blades off the blade is probably getting a little bit worn so i'll have to look into getting a replacement for that and again this is a good time to assess whether you need a replacement blade or not and i'll sharpen that a little bit later on in the video as well again i just use water and soap i like to go old school and just give it a scrub and it comes up really well quite important to get all the rubbish off um, so that the blade is balanced properly now uh, and as you can see it takes no time at all and it'll just work that bit better so now when it comes to sharpening the blades you can do one of two things i personally use a angle grinder just with a grinding wheel on there and i just work to get rid of any of the burrs and bumps and divots in the blade and try and get it nice and sharp and then i will go over with a file just on the back edge just to tidy up any of the burrs and things like that but as you can see it does a really good job and um, gets it nice and sharp but it does take quite a lot of metal off so you know you're going to wear through that blade a bit quicker the other way of doing it is just with an old school file and again i like to use this anyway just to tidy up and just to do the fine details to make sure the blade is balanced as you can see it's now all nice and sharp and nicely balanced these little blade balances are really useful as well when it comes to that to do the deck again it's just a case of i've got rid of a lot of the worst of it because it was really quite thick and horrible and there's no point wasting spray and stuff on on that sort of stuff but i've again just used the bike cleaner 
just to soften and get in all of that really ingrained dirt. I use a soft brush just to work that in and froth it up a little bit. And then I'll go over with a stiffer scrubbing brush because it really is stuck in. Of course you don't have to do this, but I like to do it. It's good for hygiene um, of lawns, but also it's going to make the mower work that little bit more efficiently, at least for the first cut anyway. Again, you want to be a bit careful not to get too much water on it, but you should be fine. Then it's a case of putting all of the assembly back on, making sure everything's correctly lined up and put in. I do put a little bit of oil on some of the metal components on here just to stop them seizing. With the blade, it does say on the blade, this way facing the grass, so make sure you've got that facing the grass um, and make sure the washer's on correctly. There's a little square um, edge that is fits in properly. Just do it up to finger tight, then stick the screwdriver in and then just lock it up with the socket, 14mm socket again. In this case, you want it really quite tight. Obviously, you don't want it coming off whilst you're using it. That's all done. And as you can see, the mower is now lovely and clean. We've been able to, to tidy up the dry train as well. That's now sounding a lot smoother and it's not making that horrible clanking noise that it was. And that's simply just by cleaning it. It's worth doing if you're having that same sort of issue that we were having. So there you go, that's what I like to do to my lawnmower to get it set up for the new mowing season. If you're interested in the Ego Mower, then check out this video here where I give my full review of it.